I'm going to preach you a sermon about old man Adam, and I don't mean the Adam in the Bible, Dadam. No, I don't mean the Adam that the Eve made it. I mean that thing that science liberated. Old Albert Einstein said he was scared. And if Einstein is scared, whew, then I'm scared too. You know, life used to be such a simple joy. The cyclotron was a super toy. Folks got born, they worked and married. Adam was a word in the dictionary. Then it happened. These science guys from every climb, they all pitched in with overtime. Before you knew it, the job was done. They'd hitched up the power of the doggone sun. Put a harness on old Saul, splitting atoms right and left, while the diplomats was splitting hair. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Bikini, Armageddon. Well, you know, the cartel crowd often put on a show. They're going to turn back the clock of the UNO. That's what they used to call the UN. Grab a corner on atoms, and they may be extinguished. Every darn atom can't speak English. Down with fern-born atoms. America for American atoms. Hiroshima. Nagasaki. Indian Point, Armageddon. Well, you know, the Adams International, in spite of hysteria, it flourishes in Utah, also Siberia. You know, the Adam doesn't care about politics or who gets what into whichever fix. All he wants to do is just sit around and have his old nucleus bombarded by neutrons. Well, now it's up to the people. The atom don't care. You can't fence him in. He's just like air. And whether you're white, black, red, or brown, the question is this when you boil it down. To be or not to be. And that is the question. And the answer to it all ain't military datum, like who gets there firstest with the mostest atom. But the people of the world are going to have to decide their fate. We got to stick together or disintegrate. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all people may be cremated equal. Hiroshima. Nagasaki, Chernobyl, Three Mile Island. Do you really want it to be Indian Point 2? Well, I decided to write another song, and it's about the concept of limited nuclear war. Here's a little history of limited nuclear war. When Kissinger was a college professor, he wrote his thesis down. His arguments were clear and specific recommendations could be found. To innovate, you cannot do when H-bombs are deployed. So let's make a deal with the Russians for a limited nuclear war. Limited nuclear war. Limited nuclear war. I'll kiss your cheek, you squeeze my hand, and I promise I'll never do more. Carter frustration, Iranian nation, Americans going abroad. Say, friggin' goddamn, we lost Vietnam. What's foreign policy for? But the men who make the munitions can advertising afford. So buy a new pair of tight designer limited nuclear wars. Limited nuclear war. Limited nuclear war. Let's go in the room for secret discussions. We promise we'll never do more. 
now the movie star puts his hand on the Bible, the Republicans fire a gun. The peanut farmer gives a small bow and relinquishes Air Force One. But the tactical situation is more critical than ever before. It's a perfect opportunity for a limited nuclear war. Limited nuclear war. Limited nuclear war. Take off your clothes and lie down on your back, and I promise I'll never do more. Well, now the times have changed and everybody is getting a bomb. And soon they will be garage standard next to the antique gun. If George Bush Sr. was president, as he was some years before. But we got his son, that son of a gun, and his... Now he is talking Star Wars. Limited nuclear war, limited nuclear war. She's just a little bit pregnant, and I promise I'll never do more.